Don't forget to subscribe! We're going to look at Sailor Moon Cosmos on Everything You Need to Know Part 3, The Sailor Quartet. Let's... Get this party started! Ah, spoiler alert! Get back to work! The Sailor Quartet and Chibi Usa. So the Sailor Quartet is Chibi Usa's future Sailor Guardians when she's ready to fight. While the future of Sailor Pillar warns about Diana in the future, Chibi Usa begs her mother of future Neon Queen Serenity about trying to find Usagi. So Chibi Usa decided to transform into Eternal Sailor, Chibi Moon, and bring them back. Thank you very much, Karina and Mofina. Either way, there were four Sailor Senshi who were awakened as Chibi Usa's bodyguards when she took on the role of Sailor Chibi Moon. And they represented four of the asteroids in the sailors in the solar system's asteroid belt that they were at one point in time classified as planets. Sailor Chibi Moon returns to the future, but all is not well. Crystal Tokyo Sailor Pluto detects a great power in the past which threatens to change history, making the city unstable in and incapacitates many of her friends. She argues with her mother and resolves to return to the past to help Sailor Moon and investigate. She transforms, which triggers the awakening of the quartet, who also join her into the past. In the present, they could not find any of their fellow guardians or even Diana, who had left to investigate before them, as they agreed Sailor Moon must have left the Earth to challenge the enemy. And a great light appeared in the sky, and they sensed Usagi's voice. So they followed the light, and it teleported them to Sagittarius Zero Star. Now that the spoilers are out of the way, let's go on to the Sailor Quartet. For Sailor Ceres, she is a foil of Sailor Venus of the Inner Sailor Guardians. She is thoughtful, thoughtful, feminine, cautious, and observant. For Sailor Pallas, she is a foil of Sailor Mercury of the Inner Sailor Guardians. She is immature, outspoken, proactive, and a little bit naive, unlike the classic version of herself. She doesn't even refer to herself in third person. For Sailor Juno, she is a foil of Sailor Jupiter of the Inner Sailor Guardians, and she's a rebellious tomboy. For Sailor Vesta, she is a foil of Sailor Mars of the Inner Sailor Guardians. She is fiery and brash, and sometimes like her classic counterpart, like she did to Nanako. But my dream is way too big, it's so big I know it'll never come true. Okay, okay, moving on. So now you all understand that the Sailor Moon Tricks is going to have a big battle. And there you have it. So we all know how the events of the Sailor Hornet will turn out in Sailor Moon Cosmos. I'll be returning to my storyteller role now. I hope you have a good day, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. What do you think? If you appreciate it, please be sure to super smash that like button. And be sure to follow my social media platforms in the description below and in the Team Lifelights fandom channels. Please be sure to leave a comment below and please give us your open-minded thoughts. Because we here at Team Lifelights Fandubs do not condone harassment, violence, or trolls aloud, or otherwise Red Hulk from Comedy Central Serena and Stimpy Show will haunt you down till the ends of the Shadow Realm. Please be sure to subscribe to our videos and click on the notification bell. You'll never miss a video the second it goes live on YouTube and Google. With that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye <laughs>